Hi. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here I go playing something that is not Kingdom Hearts because silly me, I thought that Kingdom Hearts was um, b because of the era that it came out in I thought that it was uh, probably like more than likely was going to be like an 8 hour game or something I didn't realize that it was freaking 20 hours and uh, eh, I'm not up for that this one's 15 so it's <sighs> Still not as short as I like games to be these days, but it is, nevertheless, from the Max Payne people. So that's exciting, because I love me some Max Payne. And I did like me some... Um, uh, what the hell was that game called? <clears throat> it was an Xbox exclusive... Quantum Break. Yeah, I liked Quantum Break. I thought Quantum Break was pretty good. So, without further adieu, oh, and I liked Alan Wake too. Without further adieu, Control. I, I'm going in blind. Yep, we're going to go with a new game. Brightness, I don't give a fuck. Um, okay, go ahead and optimize for headphones. Yay! Start new game. Oh, subtitles, yeah. Always subtitles. Start new game. New game now. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room is not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. 
We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Well, gotta invert that shit. It's like kind of like Plato's Allegory of the Cave, which is interesting because I've been thinking a lot about that recently. It's ironic. I have been thinking a lot about Plato's Allegory of the Cave. <clears throat> and this may sound shocking coming from a person who was so well versed in Plato that his philosophy professor named a philosophical concept after him. That's me. My philosophy professor named a philosophical concept after me because I was so very, because um, I totally dunked on Plato. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so coming from a person like that, I was a little shocked to realize that when I thought about it, I think Plato was wrong. Uh, I think his allegory of the cave does not demonstrate what he thought that it did. Hey, Jonathan Ramos. <clears throat> Is this going to go off? Now, I have to say, this is... Whoa. Was that my camera, or was that weird weirdness? Um, this is already more Max Payne-ish than Quantum Break was, if for no other reason than the protagonist is also a narrator of their own story. And I really like that. Why are these doors opening by themselves? This is already creepy. I didn't know this was going to be creepy. Okay. Oh, okay, there's collectibles. Hey, can everybody hear me okay? Can everybody hear the game okay? I I, I sometimes... <clears throat> I sometimes get the sense that the game volume is too low. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, that even... That changes the perspective, too. Oh, I thought the AED was going to be like painkillers. Nope. Okay, good. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Hmm. Let me tell you why I think Plato was wrong. According to Plato, just kind of a basic condensed version of the allegory of the cave. Oh, I can hear you quite well. The game is slightly quiet. Hey, Gabriel, have you played Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4? Not yet. The game is really quiet. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. <clears throat> okay, that should be quite a lot better. Um, if you can hear the game a lot more than me, please let me know. For some, I can never seem to get the volume right. <clears throat> so let me tell you why I think Plato was wrong. According to the allegory of the cave, there's a guy in a cave and he's looking at shadows on the wall. And he thinks the shadows are the most real thing ever. And then some shithead goes down there and says, Pfft, those shadows aren't real. Let me look behind you. Oh god, what is that?
What the hell? Oh. Hey, I'm a janitor, so I'm basically that guy. Interesting. How did he hear her thoughts? So, yes, Plato the Philosopher. So, shadows on the wall, those things aren't real. Look behind you. Look at the candles. That's what's making the shadows. The shadows aren't real. It's the candles that are making the shadows. Ah, now, you think that's real? Pfft, nonsense. It's, you, you come out even farther, you see that all the light and everything is being produced. is being produced by the sun outside. Now look, now we're outside the cave and you see where all this shit's coming from and everything else was just a representation of out here and out here, outside the cave, is the ultimate fundamental highest reality because it's producing all the other things and blah blah blah. I think that's bullshit. He didn't show that outside the cave was a higher reality. All he showed that guy is that what that guy perceives as reality is really a mechanistic process that produces what he perceives as reality. And he just showed them the process. He just showed them the process by which that happens. The cell it, and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. Trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Okay, tell me if that's better. La 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 la. Okay, hopefully that'll do it. Like I Could said, I. I... There for a moment. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Uh, I can, like I said, I can never get the volume right. Can you just turn the game up? No, because you can only adjust the microphone to game ratio on this stupid thing. And um, I can't seem to get that right. Why, is the game too low now? Uh, I, I could do that if I was playing this on the Xbox, because the Xbox isn't dumb.
It's actually fine now? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shit. Oh, shit, gee. Shit, oh, shit. geez. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Who is she talking to? Whoa. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. plane challenge can I turn it up from the game menu I don't think so nope it's all at a hundred percent oh look at that they give you the option to mute copyrighted music fuck you Ah, uh, there's a very similar. Oh shit! <laughs> there's a very similar thing in uh, in Max Payne. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yay, platforming in these. I sure like it. Ah, that's cool. That's a cool gun. are creepy. <laughs> Fuck you. of the elements, okay. Hear that? It's the dead man. 
right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here what the fuck Things hell have down outside. is going is on safe to go <clears throat> okay, it's a little question marky room. Oh, so the bit oh god. Uh, uh. Can't let this happen. You 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 can't let this happen. I don't know what they I don't know what it is kill it This is I don't know who she's talking to I don't know what's going on that coming from what the hell oh no well I'm clipped through a cable so that should give me some armor oh Well, pay attention to your surroundings is really the key phrase right there. That's something that I was not doing. I was focused on the fact that I had clipped through a through a table. And the fact that just that projection looking thingy was just so damn creepy. Freeze, freeze! <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay. This is really creepy. What in the fuck?
Jesus. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Shit, that's a that's a big boy. Uh. Fucking hell, boy! I gotta tell you, <clears throat> that red <coughs> is um, kind of hard on the eyes. Need to recollect Burrowing the collectibles. Into everything too. in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you come over and over. Damn. Hi, Matt. So there's really nothing that, uh, there's really nothing that gives you an advantage like bullet time <coughs> or the time stop or the flashlight or anything in the other things, at least not that I can. discern so far. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. The hiss you All right, it's our enemy. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit! You did it! We did it! Oh, I'm doing pretty good. A very engaging conversation during Daniel's stream about film directors and older movies. Oh, interesting. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Is it safe to come out? Dead letters? What is that? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. Director, Fady. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hmm? hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <clears throat> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. The Bureau. Do you know Darth Vader had a sister? Yes, I didn't know about Elevator. Ha 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 ha. Burrow too deep. 
ripping it out rips them apart. <clears throat> what in the fuck? Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. The fuck are you doing? Day one of your job. What's the hiss? Reminds me of psychopaths hunting dudes with problems. Kind of reminds me of um, Hellblade. Senua's sacrifice just a little bit. Just the <clears throat> just the parts where she's kind of talking to voices in her head. <sighs> I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the Hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. <clears throat> they call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I really I came don't. For my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we used to call a telephone. <laughs> I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline.
What the hell? I want to get in the ju jukebox. Damn. Brother, are you here? There it is again. Our welcome message. Thank you. Shit. What the hell? What the hell? Overpowering. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I should get me one of those inhibitor thingies. Well, not inhibitors. What do they call it? An amplifier? Or a, I think they I think they called it an inhibitor, right? Looking at that red shit is like looking at a. Uh, what was that? Oh my god, why can't I think of the name of it? It's a Nintendo console that was all red. Virtual Boy. It's like looking at a Virtual Boy. again our welcome message Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that.
look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we launched <coughs> three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Photo mode, what is that? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. So far, I'm of two minds about this. I, uh... <clears throat> I like the what the hell is going on stuff kind of it's I don't mm, uh, that's that'll grow on me I think I like the idea of objects of power and the fact that like this game is seems to be dealing with things like relics and interesting stuff like that I'm not big on the shooting so far I don't really like the way that the guns feel. I seem to have um, certain quasi-supernatural abilities that I'm sure will uh, proliferate as things go along. So, you know, so far it's alright. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, and it's scary. It's genuinely creepy. And that's, uh, as a fan of survival horror, I'm all about that shit, so. Alright. See you next time.